Chris Hayes, do you see any of the candidates making their way to you? Should we um, try to get a mic in to any of them? I'm looking at all of our available monitors here. We can here. see what he can yes, say. Yes, we, we, <laughs> we do have a candidate here right now. How are you, Mr. Castro? Uh, Good to see you. Great. Good to see you, Chris. How are um, you? Did you think there was enough foreign policy tonight? Uh, well, I mean, we, we discussed some of that. Obviously, we had a long discussion about Syria, so there was some. I don't think that we addressed North Korea. I didn't think that we really addressed enough about China, and so there were some gaps. But there were very significant gaps on the domestic side, too. You know, I just tweeted out a little while ago. I mean, we went three hours. We didn't really talk. We didn't talk about immigration. We didn't talk about housing, even though we have a housing crisis in this country. And I challenged CNN and, and, and the New York Times to ask, finally ask about homelessness and housing. I tried to insert a little bit about that and some of my answers um, yeah but we talked about Ellen at the end and I know what the point of the question was but um, we keep leaving some of these huge issues that impact families off of the question agenda at these debates and really it's journalistic malpractice to do that do you feel like I, I, w w there's a lot of time spent on health care again and it strikes me that the reason the conversation goes there is because there are real lines of dispute quite crystal clear right, about this question of Medicare for all who want it versus Medicare sure. for all. Do you feel like you have a clear sense that voters are as focused on this? I think they're focused on health care, sure. I mean, I think every family is focused on whether they're going to have, whether they have good health care or how they could get it. I also think that they're focused on the fact that a lot of people can't pay the rent, right? Um, and so there, there are these these sort of issues that are, are never touched on that intimately affect families every single day that we just never get to. Let me ask you this. We saw that exchange about uh, Medicare for All and, and the payment mechanism, right? And the theory of the case from Elizabeth Warren is it's it's a weird distinction to talk about taxes versus premiums because it just comes out of your paycheck, right? She's basically saying it's the same thing what matters in costs is costs. Other people are saying that's disingenuous, that you have to talk about what are taxes. you got to be honest with people about taxes. Where do you come down on that? Uh, well, look, I, I believe that we can both have a system that's based off of Medicare, uh, but allow somebody, if they have a strong, solid private health insurance plan, to, to keep that. But I, I, I know where, where Senator Warren is going. You don't think I, that's evasive? I mean, no, no. I, I believe that at the end of the day, what people really care about, what families really care about, is how much are they paying out of their pocket, however they have to pay it. So I completely take that answer. I don't think that that's disingenuous. Uh, I think, you know, people should see the numbers of, of how much overall they're going to have to pay. But I, I, I take the point that whether it comes out as taxes or it comes out, you know, as something else, people want to know how much are they going to have to pay overall. So she's on to something there. Um, do you think there are major foreign policy distinctions up on that stage tonight in the way that you and, and your fellow candidates would approach some of the most uh, pressing questions. I felt like I did not hear a ton. It was sort of everyone condemning uh, the president's rash decision to, to, to evacuate North and Eastern Syria, with the exception of Tulsi Gabbard, who I think is in sort of a different place. Do you feel like there is a fairly broad consensus? I think there is a lot of consensus there, especially when it comes to Syria. Uh, and there's also a consensus that this president just doesn't have a strategy, that he's been completely erratic and ineffective on Syria, uh, on uh, Iran, on China, on a number of other foreign policy issues. And, and that's part of the reason that I think it's very clear and there's not much disagreement that, hey, we need a different approach. You know, Tulsi Gabbard, Congresswoman Gabbard, yeah, articulated a little bit of a different approach. But in the scheme of things, even that wasn't that big. All right. Good to see right. you. Thank you, Mr. Castro. Chris. Thank you. Be good. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.